Honorable Heads of State and present delegates. My name is Shie Bastida, and I am a climate justice activist from Mexico. Firstly, as I speak, please keep in mind what you heard from my friend Elizabeth Wituri about opening our hearts. Today, I want to talk about the climate crisis being a generational injustice. When we talk about the impacts of the climate crisis on future generations, we speak on them as if those generations were not here, but we are present. By 2050, I will be 48 years old. And when I look out of the window, I will see the world you are negotiating right now. What will that Earth look like? If we were to stop emissions right now, we would leave the world with an increase of 1.1 degrees of warming, which is already causing immense damage in the form of floods, wildfires, hurricanes, biodiversity loss, forced migration, and more. In my home country, Mexico, there is an increase in the intensity of droughts and tropical storms, which are themselves exacerbating present injustices. And instead of trying to fix the damage prior generations have caused, we are adding to harm every day we fail to act, which represents a deep ethical immorality, an immorality of disconnect with the place we call home. Up to 475 million more people would be affected by climate-related risks if we, if we get to two degrees of warming instead of 1.5. And even if we stay at 1.5 degrees, 4.5 billion people would be exposed to heat waves and water stress. This is my second conference of the parties. You have been doing this for longer than I've been alive. I have a simple question. How many more cops are you going to have before we take action? We know exactly what needs to be done, and it starts by opening our hearts and our spirits. Here are some of the demands that you, youth have put together. We need to keep and reach the goal of 1.5 degrees by setting goals for drastic emissions reductions, starting with the richest countries. We need to collectively divest from fossil fuels and stop new fossil fuel infrastructure. According to the International Monetary Fund, governments gave up to $5.2 trillion to fossil fuel subsidies in 2019. We need to stop relying on carbon offsets as a way to count our emissions. We need to deliver the $100 billion promise to the most vulnerable nations, a number that should be 140 to 300 billion starting in 2025. We need to ensure a just transition to renewable energy in which workers' rights are upheld. Together, we must end the political, economic, and social influence of the fossil fuel industry in decision-making while holding them accountable for, for spreading climate misinformation. We must protect indigenous people's rights to care for their land, na namely the 80% of biodiversity that is protected under their stewardship. I would like to invite everyone here to connect on a personal level to the following statement. I am in a critical moment in history in which I have a stake in the future of the planet. I will be respectful and responsible enough to listen to the generations of the future and to the best available science and do everything in my power to live this world better than I found it. Starting by committing to have my country do the most to stay below 1.5 degrees of warming while centering justice and the protection of frontline communities. Thank you.